These are the Chronicles of Dominic Carter on 77 WABC. All of us, within the sound of my voice, know someone that has cancer or has died of cancer. One of the organizations on the front line happens to be right in our area of New York City. The Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation, which is celebrating 75 years. And with us is the president and CEO of the Runyon Cancer Research Foundation, Dr. Young Lee. Thank you for appearing. Thank you so much for having me join you. Of course, and, and, and we are glad that you are here. So you have a big event coming up the 29th of September at Yankee Stadium. A walk or run, the concourses, if you will, the ramps, the stairs, enjoying victory laps around the field, and 100% of the donations you raise will support cancer research. We'll come back to that. This year marks your 75th anniversary. I want you to explain why the foundation was founded and what has it achieved in that time. The foundation was founded in 1946, and uh, it's so great to have the opportunity to talk with you on the radio because our founder was actually Walter Winchell, who was a huge radio personality at the time. His best friend, Damon Runyon died of throat cancer, and when his friend Damon Runyon passed away, Walter Winchell created the foundation and asked the men and women of America to give their spare change to support cancer research, and that was how our organization began. So 75 years ago, we had these very generous contributions from the men and women of America to support young people that were focusing their attention on cancer research and trying to make cancer a more treatable disease. As you said, so many people have been touched by cancer, and so it's incredibly important that we continue to make progress in the way that we view this disease so that we can beat it. And that would be wonderful one day if it could happen. We are chatting with the president and CEO of the Runyon Cancer Research Foundation, Dr. Young Lee. I, I, I guess the, the next question would, 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 that would normally apply in this situation is why is funding physician scientists a, a focus for Damon Runyon? We think it's incredibly important to fund people that are doing research in the laboratory, but also physicians who are actually seeing patients in the clinic every day and understand the challenges that are faced by cancer patients themselves. And so physician scientists are the people that are specially trained both in medicine as well as in research so that they can take the observations that they see from their patients, uh, do the research in the lab, and then take those discoveries from the lab and translate those into better treatments, earlier diagnosis, and hopefully prevention of cancer. So let's chat about your upcoming 5K event at Yankee Stadium, which has not been held in person since before the uh, pandemic. What makes this year 5K stand out from previous years? We are so excited to be able to return in person to Yankee Stadium. This year's event is taking place on a Thursday evening, and we are really, really looking forward to having our community there together uh, to be able to support cancer research. And obviously, Yankee Stadium is one of the most amazing places to be if you're going to be doing an event like this. Um, So we are just incredibly excited about having everyone in the stadium together, as you said, running those concourses, being down on the warning track, seeing yourself on the Jumbotron, and it's really going to be a fantastic event. And where does the money raised from the 5K go? Uh, How much money has this event raised for the foundation, for example, in previous years? So this event started in 2009, and over the years, we've attracted thousands of participants. And 
over that time, we've raised over $6 million to support cancer research. 100% of everything that's raised from this event goes to support young scientists that are conducting cancer research. So we, not a single penny goes to administrative costs. Every dollar raised goes to support cancer research. Well, Dr. Lee, I, I want to thank you for joining us. I wish I had more time, but I need to get back to the telephone calls. I, I may decide to come out there September 29th to Yankee Stadium. I've been on many fields, but I've never been. Oh, I have been on the field of Yankee Stadium at a football game in which Mr. Steinbrenner was alive, and I got to ride in the elevator with him. It was a wonderful experience. But, Dr. Lee, thank you for a very difficult discussion on cancer and good luck with your event coming up and the work that your scientists are doing uh, uh, as it relates to finding cures.